This is the new touchpad from HP. It's new to the market. It's obviously in competition with uh, machines like the Apple iPad 2, uh, the Asus E Transformer, and coming up next month, the Samsung Galaxy Tabs that are coming out. Uh, it's quite interesting. Um, there's nothing particularly special about the hardware. It's, it's got a powerful dual core processor, so it is quite fast. It's got a few interesting features like um, wireless charging and, and a few other things that are worth checking out. But really, as, as far as the hardware is concerned, it is just a, a black box. It's a similar in size and shape to the original iPad, a bit heavier than you'd want from some of the machines at the moment, but generally it's, it's not bad hardware. Where it's really interesting is in the software. Rather than using Android like a lot of its competition has, they've gone with their own homegrown uh, operating system called WebOS. So I'll take you a walk through that and we'll uh, have a look at it. So with WebOS, you start with a blank home screen like this. Um, you have a universal search box there. If I were to search for something on here, it will not only search the computer, but also any software or um, websites that you've already used. So I can go straight to Wikipedia and look up what I was searching for. Um, the system is based on an idea of cards and uh, stacks of cards. So if I hit the home screen there, it takes me back to this screen again. I've got Wikipedia there. I can just flick that and it'll go away. Notifications work really well on this machine. I've had some emails come in while we've been testing here and that's shown up in the corner there. If I just tap on that, it tells me what my messages are. I can tap away and go off and do other things. So the web browser on this is really nice. So it runs Flash. It's uh, going to show you the full web versions of everything. So if I go to YouTube, you'll see that it's added a web search engine there. It's because it's found a search box there. Next time we're searching something using the universal search on this machine, it will check YouTube to see if it can find that program. So let's have a quick look, see if there's something on here we can watch. And this is running the normal Flash version. Just like most of the other applications on this machine, the photo application synchronizes with any online accounts that you've got. So this is synced with my Facebook account at the moment. In the accounts menu, you go here and you add in all of your online accounts. I've got my Dropbox, my Facebook, my Gmail, and my Skype on here. Really nice uh, email client on this, uh, quite similar to the iPad but that's not a bad thing. So what I'll do, I'll just have a quick look through here. Emails work really nicely. If I click through, it opens up a web browser in a new card. If I go back to the home screen, you'll see that these two cards are now together. So you've got your email client and the web browser you've opened from it. So two different applications on this machine that are working together. A nice standout feature of this tablet is the stereo Beats Audio speakers, so a good strong bassy sound from this. So if I bring up some music, you won't get an amazing impression on the video, but... <laughs> Multitasking works really well. I can open up a web browser here. And while that's loading, I can go off, do something else, take a look at my photos, browsing around through those, come back, and you'll see that this is loading in the background while that's working. So that's a really nice thing. Uh, in the web browser, I can just press and hold any link. It'll come up with a menu, open in new card, and it'll load that page, keeping those cards together. So I can go back to this page, carry on browsing around here. When I'm ready, go back here, and my page is loading. When I'm done with anything, I can just say, OK, I want to keep these open. I don't want my emails anymore. Flick, and it goes away. Photos, flick, and it goes away. Then I've got my browser. You see, while we're in this card view, the Animations on there are still running. Works really nicely. And then when I'm done, just flick everything away. 
and we're finished. So that's it, the new touchpad from HP. Uh, it's an interesting addition to the market. I'll be curious to see how it does against the iPad 2 and against particularly the Samsung Android tablets that are coming out in the next month or so. One to keep an eye on, I think. For more information about tablets, to make sure you know exactly what you're looking for when you're buying one, check out our tablet buying guide on pluggedin.co.uk and check out the full review of the HP touchpad there as well. Mm -hmm.